Hello there. So I'm in the process of replacing a lot of the plug sockets in my house with these lovely brushed steel Nexus metal ones by a company called British General. These are quite good value. I think they're they're kind of brushed, as you can tell, not just really, really overtly shiny. I feel like the shiny, shiny ones probably get fingerprints on them really easily. And I think the black ones look a bit tacky. Um, so these, I think, are a good sort of compromise. These are fairly reasonably priced. You can pay about five pounds one of these if you're buying them in bulk and replacing all of your plug sockets. And you can get obviously single plug sockets, light switches, telephone sockets, that sort of thing. I'm hoping to replace everything because I think replacing these makes your place just look a little bit more modern, freshens it up a little bit. Now, you could get an electrician. In fact, you probably should get an electrician to do it. You're supposed to, if you've done it yourself, get an electrician in to check and kind of sign it off, make sure it's all electrically safe. But if you are going to do that, kind of, you might as well just get the electrician to do the work anyway, because it probably costs the same for them to fit it themselves as it does to just come round and check that you've done it right. So on the advice of one of my viewers, I've bought a socket tester there are a huge selection of these from very, very cheap, sort of £10 up to hundreds of pounds for a really advanced socket tester. This one isn't just your cheap run-of-the-mill one. This is the TIS 1005 by a company called T TIS. Essentially, this one does a couple more things than the really cheap ones. The really cheap ones just test to make sure, essentially, live, neutral and earth are present, which isn't necessarily enough. Um, I'll show you why i'll tell you why in a minute so this one cost me 35 pounds from ebay it's a little it was a good price to be honest it's usually about 40 pounds and i will leave a link to this somewhere down below little bit of uh, advice for you you can see i've cut open the packet at the top there and damaged the instructions inside because it's got a more detailed manual in the side inside even though a lot of what you need is on the front of the plug anyway. Just open it, don't butcher it like I did. This has three main functions and I'm gonna demonstrate them to you. The first, these LEDs at the top here, when you plug it in, it tells you whether or not essentially you've got live, neutral and earth in properly. This will basically give you a three color code um, description of your wiring. And then there's a little table at the bottom there that says, you know, the top one is all green is okay. Uh, green, red, green, P-E, open. I don't actually know what P-E is. I'll, I'll realise. Live, neutral. Earth, I assume. Red, green, red, live, neutral, reverse. So there's lots of colours there. So it tells you if you got it wrong, basically. And also gives you an audio feedback as well, like a solid, solid tone. Now, this does two more things, which are quite cool. And again, I will demonstrate them. So the, these lights in the middle here, this is actually called a loop check. So this checks the resistance of your earth or ground wire to make sure that it's very low. Because if it's high, that indicates that there's a problem. And then potentially when your device goes wrong, or perhaps it's not even connected at all, then, uh, or there's residual charge in your device, you get a shock through the socket or, you know, worse, it goes wrong a lot and you get a proper electrocution or there's a fire that starts. So you need to have low resistance to uh, ground, basically. And here, this will tell you if it's very good. So you go green uh, and that will mean it's very low resistance. There's a check one, which is amber. So it's a little bit higher resistance and then urgent check, which is red. So it's very visual and very audible when your system isn't right. Um, and then finally, there's also a little button down here. And when you press this, it checks your circuit breaker. So essentially it sends a little current down the earth wire that's enough or should be enough to trip your trip switch. And if it doesn't, then you need to get an electrician in to test. Yeah, 35 quid, at least I've got this forever now. And I can, every time I change a plug socket, I can use one of these. So uh, without any further ado, let me demonstrate this on this lovely new um, Nexus plug socket that I've just this second installed. So you might be about to witness me electrocute myself. Exciting times. Just quickly before I do that, you can see from the instructions, you get a little bit more detail inside um, about, you know, what the different sounds and lights mean um, and about the different tests. OK, this is the plug socket. Here we go. So let's plug this in here without scratching the new one. I would turn it on, but I need to go and do the circuit breaker. 
circuit breaker that hasn't been replaced or checked since 1992. First thing I always do is touch it with the back of my finger and make sure that it's not live. Don't touch it with the front of your finger or try and grab it because AC current will make your fingers uh, seize in position. So you just keep getting electrocuted. So, I mean, that's common sense, really. So now I'm going to turn on the power and we should see it do its test. <laughs> right, so it's done the test and we've got three green lights and the earth is good as well. And now just for entertainment purposes, I'm going to do the RCD check. There we go. So did you hear the trip switch? That's it. So now I know my, I know this plug socket's working. I know the earth is working. So if anything goes wrong when I've plugged it into there, um, I won't get electrocuted. I'll just, I always do this as well. I don't know why. I just check everything metal with the back of my finger to make sure that it's, um, to make sure that it's not live. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend this 35 quid. I will leave a link to this down below. Um, just a little bit of peace of mind that your plug sockets are working properly. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. Thank you to Magnanimous Meg, George Foote, Ross Carter and Jennifer Jones, who are extremely generous patrons. And uh, I shall see you next time for another video.